everybody. <laughs> My name is Sophie Underwood and I'm the coordinator of the Planning Matters Alliance Tasmania, also, also, known, as, also known as PMAT. On behalf of our growing alliance of 46 groups, I would like to warmly welcome you all here tonight. It's fantastic to see you all here. Before we get started, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are meeting. I ask that we all pay respect to the Tasmanian Aboriginal community and its elders past, present and future. I acknowledge that this land was stolen and never ceded. I would also like to welcome here tonight members of State Parliament and elected members of local government who are with us tonight. The main purpose of tonight is twofold. First is to officially launch the Planning Matters Alliance and secondly to formally launch our platform document which outlines essentially the, the positive agenda that we will take to the next state election. Our planning platform outlines six key principles that we would like to see in Tasmania's planning system. Hard copies of the platform document um, are available over here at our information table, so I'd encourage you all to take a copy tonight, or you can download it off um, PMAT's recently launched website, so check out the PMAT online. We will first hear from Jared Castles, uh, followed by Meg Webb, and then our final speaker, Essie Davis. Each speaker will only speak for about five minutes, so the formal proceedings uh, shouldn't take too long. At the end of the speeches, we'll also hear from the Hobart Community Ensemble, who's going to uh, sing their recently new song, release song, Don't Get Tall. <laughs> the Planning Matters Alliance started in around September last year, united with a common concern regarding the proposed Tasmanian Planning Scheme. The Tasmanian Planning Scheme is due to come into full effect in 2018, and the PMAT is committed to making it better. The scheme will affect every single land title in Tasmania. The level of collaboration and commonality emerging within this planning campaign and the groups involved is unprecedented in Tasmania and is reflective of both the, the depth and the breadth of all the issues. The Alliance brings together groups from across Tasmania that have never worked together before. Examples include social service, community, ratepayers associations and friends of groups, field naturalists, land care groups, climate groups, groups concerned about our built heritage and environment. A full list of the 46 groups uh, can be seen on PMAT's website and that's just the beginning. We are a growing network and we're getting contact, contacted by new groups all the time. The planning campaign has got to where it is now, um, essentially based on, well, essentially with no budget. Um, there's been a lot of goodwill and hundreds of hours of voluntary work by many, many people. I would like to thank all our volunteers and all the people that have donated money to the campaign so far. I would also like to formally thank the Wilderness Society who have uh, underwritten um, some of our activities, which has helped the um, Planning Alliance progress to where it is today. We have a fundraising table here tonight and we would encourage you to support this campaign as we would like to generate enough funds to continue the campaign as well as to run TV advertising during the election campaign. We need your help, essentially. Our beautiful logo, uh, which was created by Beverly Waldy of Coalface Design and Production, uh, she created that for us free of charge and she was going to be here tonight, but unfortunately she can't be. But I just wanted to acknowledge her work and her patience in trying to appease over 40 community groups. <laughs> <laughs> the logo highlights what this campaign is about. Part of our logo is a road sign, which is symbolic of how planning should guide us on our way to a shared vision of Tasmania. Our logo contains several other important symbols which represent what's driving this campaign. The symbols are about all the things that make Tasmania such a special place to live and visit. Our community, our towns, our backyards, our skylines, our coastlines and our marine environment. Our rural landscapes, our heritage buildings and places. Our plants and our animals our, and our wild and inspiring landscapes. The Tasmanian Planning Scheme will impact all these things that we love about Tasmania. 
For tonight, we have specially produced a new brochure, which is available on our uh, information table. And I'd encourage every one of you to take that brochure home tonight. And essentially, it outlines why planning matters in a really simple to understand English, and um, also the key issues that are driving this campaign. Most people don't understand the crucial role that planning um, plays in our lives until they are negatively impacted in some way. An example of this right now facing our city is the fragrance group uh, sky, sky, Skyscraper's proposal. Uh, this proposal really highlights the importance of planning law. Uh, another example is also the East Coast fish farm issue, uh, where aquaculture at the moment sits outside the planning system. The scheme, in, the scheme uh, that the uh, government want to bring in uh, encourages uniformity rather than a more creative approach and it makes everything else other than a development application for a single residential house on a greenfield site more difficult and more expensive. The scheme encourages bad planning outcomes rather than delivering good innovative urban design and places. Development pressure is coming to Tasmania like never before. So now more than ever, we need certainty over our planning laws. We need certainty for the community to have a voice and that our special places are respected for future generations. Yeah, yeah. We've gone from, in the last three years, 32 old planning schemes to 29 interim planning schemes to one proposed state-wide scheme with 29 local planning schedules, somehow making the whole system simpler. <laughs> Feedback from councils and expert planners is that planning system will be more complicated. I would now like to introduce our first speaker, Jared Castles. Planning is a really important tool to how we manage our brand. Gerald is going to talk to us about why brand matters to a place like Tasmania. Jared grew up in northwest Tasmania, coming to Hobart to study at the University of Tasmania before joining the international consulting firm McKenzie & Company. Gerald works in Tasmania and all over the world as a business and communications consultant, helping clients in manufacturing, banking, telecommunications, construction and mining industries. Thanks, Gerard.